All right, people, Big Ed here, doing another video. Well, last video, I told y'all I was getting ready to wrap up replacing the head gaskets and the base gaskets and what have you. I'd put the primary cover back on. I was getting ready to put fluid in it, button up a few things, and I was just kind of looking over the bike, and I noticed my belt... And there's my belt was had a big crack in it. It's a it's a decent looking belt. Got good ribs and everything, but must have had a rock or something got up under there and caused it to crack. I just got the wheel off the back wheel. Um, I gotta take this shock off, and then I gotta. Pull the guts out of the primary there. The compensator sprocket and clutch hub and all that crap. Then I gotta take the inner primary off. And then I got to I've never done these axles, I gotta take the axles out. I heard they're a bitch by yourself. Cause I think you gotta have somebody hold a wrench on the other side, I'm not sure. I'll tackle that situation when I get to it but next I'll be so I got the wheel off I gotta undo that shock I'm just gonna undo the bottom of it and flip it up and then I'll be taking this stuff off right here um, for the wheel the rear wheel uh, removal there's a guy named He's got a channel called Two Wheel Rocco. You might want to check him out. But I, I got I picked up a tip from him. When you're doing it by yourself, I put the wheel jack, I mean the floor jack, I put it underneath the wheel and just jack it up enough to where it, it doesn't try to drop on you, and then I slid my axle out. I did have to remove this cover right here and undo that bolt and see this bolt right here and then I loosened up these two right here because the bolt the axle would not come out because I had to lift this up to get the bolt to come out. It was it was hitting right here. So I loosened loosened up these two bolts right here or I actually took them out so right there and right there and then right there and right there and then all I did was uh, once I get the axle out oh I kept my bike strapped down too but um then I just lowered the jack. I lowered the jack and then I uh, took and jacked up my uh, bike jack right there and just pulled it out. I didn't jack it up too far. I jacked it up right about here and just kind of turned the wheel sideways and pulled it out. Oh, don't forget to take your belt off when you loosen up your uh, axle and everything. And just so y'all know, this is not a how-to video. This is how I was doing it. Like I said, the two, the guy, uh, two-wheel Rocco, he's got a lot better quality video than I do. I'm just an old, old-timer that don't know how to do shit. But, uh, if any of this helped y'all, you're welcome. If it didn't help you, you're still welcome. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Peace out.